Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going, buddy? I'm all right. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I might be doing better than you. Yeah. Well, it, we've always had, uh, we've always discussed this possibly mm-hmm. being a topic, a conversation for an episode, but um, right. Santa Gato Studios lost its, I mean, the first person it's ever lost and someone that's been around since the beginning. Now you're losing me. Who's been around longer? What? Who's been around longer than me? And you? And our nuts? Right. Frankie lost his balls. Well, that's not how Joey. You yeah. can't say. You can't just say. Frankie those got a vasectomy and lost I, his balls. I got. You got a. I, it, we're. This is a funeral episode. Um. For Frankie's balls. For my. Stop saying balls. There's nuts. That, <laughs> They're still there. They're just... Frankie showed me his balls. Okay, well, slow down. <laughs> I saw Frankie's cut balls. Uh, okay, stop! Jesus Christ! Well, no balls. Wait, they, do you have balls? My balls are still there. Okay. Vasectomies, they don't remove the balls, Joey. The but balls, they did cut a wire in there. They did go blue in. wire. They did go in like fucking, you know, yeah. Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible, like sweating and just like yeah. fucking... Snip the right wire. They cut his balls somewhere, and, and they turned something off. They turned the valve off. They did. So just like a hot water heater goes bad, and you need to shut the water off, they had to shut off the water to my balls, a.k.a. The sperms. The boys. Yeah. The boys. Now, do they kill them? My soap. Do they kill them? Like, have you done something that Christians will be very upset with you? About? I'm sure I have, but... Like, have you killed anything? There's or a... do you just... There's, you built a dam. There's like a, a laundry. There's a laundry list of things Christians will be upset at me for on this yeah. show. But have you built a dam, or did you kill? You're something? really showing you don't know what a fucking vasectomy is, huh? I, I mean, I know. I know. Do you? Because you're asking. First, you said my nuts are gone. All right. Well, the balls thing was a bit, but I I know that we've stopped the flow of sperm. The yes. Yeah, so oh, you still have sperm. First of all, I knew Bob no about vasectomies. You bitch. Fuck, Tabba. Uh, I to my understanding, they just like. Like how that highway collapsed right outside of Philly, and no one can use that road anymore until they repair it. Same thing. Mm. My my semen. So you've just caused traffic, is all you've done. Basically, yeah. My 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 balls are the BQE right now. So if I cut your balls open, <laughs> well, you can't. Well, they're already. I don't think it's the balls themselves. I think it's like the fucking the neuro sad. pathway. Yeah, neuro pathway. I yeah, I don't think it's neuro. It's, it's just a path. It's just a path. So if I, but I could still go in, go in there and get some sperm out of you. I don't know. I think it's like you know, like you cut off, you know, like the root, like you you pull the weed from the root. But you still, you still come stuff. There's still stuff there, to my understanding. Yeah. I have, I can't confirm that it's there because right now, as of last time when I got the vasectomy, there's been no production of stuff. Oh. Because well, it's just because I'm I'm still healing. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, but Imagine you lose your stuff. <clears throat> I mean, it's just stuff. Like, who cares? Oh no, I need my, I need stuff. You, well, you need it because you don't have children yet, Joey. You no, know, I'm saying I, it would be, it's always it's fun to have. stuff. It's fun to have stuff. Really, you playing with your stuff? I don't play with my stuff. So then what do you do with your stuff that makes it fun? It's just it's nice to see it. You paint with it. Do I paint with it? I, I don't know, Joey. You're you're sitting here saying like, oh, it's my stuff. I need to fucking do it. No, I just I, I I've been with my stuff for so long. Imagine being with I my have stuff. two. I have two, and that's why this is uh, the most somber episode we've ever done to date. Right. Bring oh. it back down, Frank. Yeah, I have to uh, because we're doing a full mm. uh, a funeral procession. Actually, we can have two funerals because you lost your sp- spunk. Oh, oh God! That's Frankie not... lost his spunk. A, a date, but also you, you, the streak is killed as well. Yes, yes. So another thing that died was my throw up streak. Frankie puked it the fuck up. I threw up December twenty sixth, two thousand and eight, June twenty eighth, two thousand twenty three. Mm. I have, I have thrown what up a streak. Fourteen and a half years. Crazy. Absolute. Honestly, impressive streak. Because look what happened during that time. College. Post-college. A lot of drinking. You know, like those are my prime drinking years. Yeah. Only three things. That's crazy. Yeah. That's only- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those are the only three things that happened. Like no food poisoning or no like food. a bad shellfish or something. No, no. That affects me. Any any stomach stuff affects me the other way. 
Oh, you blow it out the back <laughs> hole. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't, it makes my tummy rumbly gumblies. Okay. What? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, usually I get, the last time I had it, which was recently, I got the old double wham. You get the double whammy, huh? Yeah, I was kind of blowing it out the back and then I the knew top someone. As well. I knew someone that had a, a gastrointestinal virus where they were sitting on the toilet, spitting out their butt, and then threw up all over themselves. Spitting out both ends. Threw up on their own lap? Yeah. That's not good, man. No, man. You got to imagine. That. This was not fun. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Describe the pain. Right now, you're sitting down on your balls. Yeah. Well, How's your balls going? Doing? Honestly, the, the, I should preface. The, the pain from the vasectomy itself, not that bad. I threw up because I had a bad reaction to pain medication. So that's what happened. Me and opioids don't mix, as we learned. Maybe you cooked something and it sucked. And then you threw up. No, because I also wasn't really eating a ton. Like, I ate to get stuff in my stomach. Maybe you're not a good cook. You, what? No. I'm a fucking great cook, bitch. What do you do? What do you sit there and cook? I'm just nothing. saying. You fucking cook nothing. You order food all the time. Oh, <laughs> let me tell me about this fucking, you know, uh, capitelli. What the fuck is that? It's a pasta. Exactly, bitch. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, cool. You know different pastas? Yeah, what do you know? A penny. Pe and it's not even penny. It's penne. Penne. Rigatoni. Yeah. Uh, rotini. Give me more. Fucking spaghetti. Yeah. Angel hair. Uh, fucking uh, gnocchi. Uh, what? <laughs> Why did you say that like a Digimon? Gnocchi. Oh, okay. Uh, fucking uh, shells. You're just naming shapes. That's a, what they're. That's a, the thing. The box in your of head, shells. you're just going swirlies, twirlies. Bucatini. No, it's cheese. No, bucatini is. Oh, what? Bucatini might be cheese. I don't. Maybe I don't know. Oh, wow, look at that. You don't know something, don't you? Yeah, because I'm fucking... I'm not traveling the world just eating cheeses like a fat slob. And I'm doing that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, cheese um, abroad, by the way? We actually... Um, <laughs> we got some stuff here uh, to memorialize my nuts. Oh, we don't have any... Uh, you might... Oh, I, I do, I do. So... I just brought the jacket. After... Yeah. Um, after... I'm going to try to get through this. It might be tough. Yeah. After uh, the vasectomy, I was contacted by someone that people would know from our Patreon episodes by the name of Frankie Skins. Oh, shit. Yeah. And he wrote a eulogy. He probably thinks you're a bitch. So very beta. <laughs> for those of you guys that don't know Frankie Skins. Yeah. He is an alpha well, actually, male. They might not know. I had no one. No one really knows him. Yeah, but like hasn't Patreon seen guy. him on yeah, Patreon, exactly. which... He's a he's a he's an alpha male. Him and him, you and Andrew Tate are really good friends. Me, yeah. Okay. And uh, he wanted to write a eulogy for uh, my nuts. I, I clearly explained to him that my nuts are still there. Right. Uh, they are they are functional. The only thing they will note not do. You kind of have fat nuts. Good for you. Thanks. <laughs> good for you. They're pretty fat now because they're swollen. Yeah, that's true. And but the incision our... looks like it's got. It looks like you put a little grape jelly on. Yeah. It. Yeah, it's it's glue, and that's purple glue. It was glue. Well, I think that's probably you know like blood, blood that has you know since you know oh. kind of clotted. That makes sense. Purple glue would look like grape yeah. jelly. Uh, but they they closed the incision with glue, and you know it wasn't red. That feels like. Did you do this in a hospital or like someone's house? It was like an outpatient center. <laughs> Because like glue, <laughs> just bro. like liquid cement, just like brush it on. Yeah, like what are we talking about here? I don't, medical glue, medical grade glue is what the doctor used, and uh, it was at an outpatient center. And you know, it wasn't sweet when the rest of my business stuck to that glue. Oh my god, your hog! Thank you. Uh, I wouldn't describe it as that, but sure. Oh yeah, no one would. I was just being nice. I know, I know. Well, we, we need to be serious here, Joey. Oh, this is a, my boys are gone. Wait, your dick was glued to your balls? Yeah, it was for a brief period of time. You got a vasectomy and your dick was glued to your balls. For a brief period of time. It was glued to your balls. Yes. Did you pee like down into your leg hole? No, I just had to rip it off. You ripped your dick off of your balls <laughs> after a vasectomy? This is a horrible day that you had. <laughs> it was, I, you know. How long was it glued to those balls? In the hospital? When I woke up, it was okay. When I got home after maybe like an hour or two, there was a little bit of... Con, a con, uh, it was it was a, a yeah. conjoined sitch. Yes, it was a Siamese twin. If a si you will. Well, yeah, it Is was that offensive. I think it might be. Okay, uh, but don't say it with that accent you always use. I what don't. Does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I. 
honestly, it went fine. It's just me being the character I am. I'm big time character boy, podcast guy. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I had to, you know, make it bigger than it was. So this is a eulogy from Frankie Skins. Oh, shit. And I'm going to read it as him. Yeah. <clears throat> Ladies and smoke shows. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was a wild fart noise. We are gathered here today to say goodbye to the boys. It is the most beta move available. In what is the most beta move available? Frank Alvarez went and got his nuts chopped off. I tried to explain to him, just yeah. like you. Yes. The nuts are still there. Right. Didn't get chopped off. But they don't work. The boys have fallen. <laughs> I remember when I first met these two behemoth alphas. Okay, I wouldn't say behemoth balls. <laughs> I didn't write this. I, he I'm, wrote this, behemoth alphas. Got my, it. My, my sperm were alphas, according to him. Oh, the sperm. I thought you were talking about the sack. No, the sack is still there, Joey. I know. I'm saying. You, you play with your dog's fucking like, coin, little empty coin purse too much in order to fucking understand how men go. First of all, that's not true. Yes. Also, he had fat fucking nuts. He did. Dog. And then what did you do? I fucking chopped them off and chopped I threw them in, in and the out. East River. Chopped them in and out, baby. Yeah. Uh, in the East River. Uh, I was, that was a joke. Uh, I remember when I first met these two behemoth alphas. We were posted up in Pasha, NYC, and spotted a few cucks with their women. He went to the club. Pasha. Pasha. <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> I can't laugh too hard because it's still a little painful. If you laugh, your nuts hurt? A little bit. I didn't know your balls were connected to laughter. I think laughter is a human experience from the head to your toes. When I laugh, I don't feel my toes. You don't realize it. You like when, when I laugh, I like everything sucks in a little bit. Like, <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, damn, okay. sorry. All right. We were posted up in Pasha, NYC, and spotted a few cucks with their women. My intense alpha testosterone caught the eye of my uh, and my huge... Dude, what happened <laughs> during the surgery? Did they like give you a lobotomy too? Like, what the fuck? You can't read, dude. You can't even read. I can read, bitch. You can't read. My fucking under nuts are not good. These nuts are great. If, uh, we see it. Uh, my intense alpha testosterone caught the eye of my huge nuts and decided to do what any alpha would do and dominate the scene. <laughs> we <laughs> we approached and did what we do best and began to secure the bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, you know, that's how those alpha males that you guys hang out with, that's how they speak about women. Okay. They really objectify them. Yeah. These nuts and I began a campaign of heterodominance. <laughs> Anytime I needed to destroy some upholstered furniture, the boys were there for me. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, I like up upholstered stuff. I do too. Like beds? Anytime I needed to destroy some upholstered furniture, the boys were there for me. I'm not sure how I'm going to rock on without my boys. Life was a sperm highway with them, and now I'm driving down a dirt road. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's actually mad deep. You were driving down a sperm highway, and then you ruined the highway. That's so fucked up to your balls. <laughs> Frank Skins, man. This guy's a crazy guy. He's a deep guy, though. He's a deep guy. He's a... Uh, what is it? Running down a sperm highway? And he, he wrote... Uh, he said... Um, Life was a sperm highway with them, and now I'm driving down a dirt road all by myself. I thought that I was thinking of like life is a highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah you can life do it. Life is a sperm highway. I get it. Um, dirt road, I think, is shit though. <laughs> like I think of your colon, honestly. I, like the dirt road is like seems like a like a colon, like a shit. You know. So when when someone says dirt road, you immediately you immediately think of butthole. In this context, yeah. Uh, why is this context? Oh, because you said sperm. We're trying to eulogize my sperm count, Joey. Keep going. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Alphas become alphas because of their relentless desire to be carnivorous in a woman's front wet cage. Um, can I ask a question? When what time of the day did you write this? Because if you're telling me that you had this over your morning tea, I'm just gonna be shocked. Can you say that one more time? Carnivorous wet cage. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Wait, hold no. on. Oh, your balls, dude. Your balls. Okay. Her car be carnivorous in the in the cage. This is what he wrote. Yeah. Him. Frankie Skins. Right. 
Alphas become alphas because of their relentless desire to be carnivorous in a woman's front wet cage. Got it. I'm just going to assume. Yeah, okay. All right. That's what I was thinking, and I just wanted to... Vagina. Yeah, yeah. That's what he called a, a woman's... I got it. Again, this this Frankie Skins guy. You it's guys not you. It's not you. No, no. Not me. Yeah. You guys love objectifying women. But now I must conquer cages by myself. <laughs> Okay. Waking up with my fish not swimming is like waking up a vegetarian. Okay. Who will help me get people to look at my wrist when I say, what time is it? Who will I play with when I'm aimlessly watching alpha TV shows like Entourage and Ballers on HBO? <laughs> Jesus. Oh God! I'm sorry. It's emotional. Yeah, I can see it's that. It's tough. You know. I can see that. Without you, I will be less alpha. For a part of alpha ness does uh, dies today. I will miss you, my boys. I hope you're firing off a live rounds in the club up above. Wow, <laughs> that's the eulogy. That's the yeah. Wow, the whole eulogy. R.I.P. to your R.I.P. Sperm. And then he had a couple songs he wanted to sing. What? Yeah. <laughs> A couple of songs or psalms? <laughs> Definitely not. You think Frankie Skins is a church guy? Frankie, I don't know what's going on right now. What do you mean? Nothing matters. See, it's a song? You wrote a song? I, I didn't write a song. You wrote a song. Frankie Skins has two a rendition of two songs that he wants me to sing. Go ahead. <sighs> uh, who's singing them? Frankie Skins. But I'm going to sing as him. Because he's not here. He couldn't be here. Okay. He said he was neck deep in someone at Fountain Blue in Miami. Got it. It's been a long day. Yeah. Without you, my jizz. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going. <laughs> you want me to lead you in? It's been a long day. Without you, my jizz And I'll tell you all about it When I get back my riz You wrote? Were you a fucking 14 year old who wrote that? When I get back my riz? What does that even mean? Oh, his balls are hurting I can't even make jokes right now <laughs> you, you know what you should have done? You should have taken some pain medication And throw up on the show Yeah, sweet, dude Yeah, that drive home would be real great As I get pulled over for fucking fall to sleep behind the wheel. Get out! Yeah. We've come a long way Woo. since my first jizz. And I'll tell you all about it when I get back my riz. Is that the end? Oh, okay. Wait, you have another one? <laughs> okay. Which one's. Oh, never mind. Just get ahead. Just let's. Next track. Let's hear it. Were you, did you were you on pain medication when you wrote all this? Like, <laughs> well, I'm so confused. I have a runny nose like a true addict. <laughs> okay. Okay. In the nuts were my angels. Now they're far away from here. In the nuts were my angels. And now they're real far from here. No longer here. I feel like it would have worked better there. But well, like, come on, bitch. I'm just saying. I'm you just didn't saying. fucking write this shit. What song is that again? Uh, it's the ASPCA song from Sarah McLachlan. Got it. You That's know. Why I was like, why do I know this? What would you rather have? Dead dogs or dead sperms? Well, the dogs aren't dead. They're on their way to be dead. Watch one of those commercials. Tell me how many of those animals are still alive. Well, no, they're all dead. They're all dead now. Well, the fucking thing's 20 years old. No, there's the other commercials. She's done multiple commercials for Has the she? ASPCA. Yeah, there's different renditions. Good for her. What I There was never a quicker mad dash for a remote when until that commercial came yeah, on. Yeah, I'm not trying to watch dogs cry in the fucking... I'm sitting there at fucking 9.30 p.m. on a Tuesday watching the George Lopez show, and then you got this shit on me? Yeah. You think I need this? Yeah. I don't also, need that. Bro, you're Sarah McLaughlin. Buy a house, hire a couple people, and fucking buy all the Sarah dogs. Sarah McLaughlin got bangers? That one. What else? Fucking, I don't know. She's a fucking old, dude. I don't know. Is she old? She looks she's like... Older she, than me. 
No duh, Joey. But I'm saying she wasn't. She's not our generation. Yeah, but she's she don't got many bangers. You got in the eye, arms of the angel. You don't think that Sarah McLaughlin's got bread? Sarah McLaughlin's paid, bro. I don't know. Maybe because of that song. But the ASPCA, you know she's volunteering for that. She's not getting paid for that shit. We don't know that. I can confidently say that. Sarah McLaughlin, net worth. But all that shit is stupid because it gave you like a $260 million net worth. No, it gave me like a... $50 million, bro. Buy a house in Florida or Texas or something. Hire a staff. Buy all the dogs. Leave us out of it, Sarah. Yeah, we don't need this, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, but that was from Frankie Skins. Good for you. He um he wanted to make sure he said his goodbye. That's good. Do you have any stories or anything you'd like to share? About your balls? About my nuts. Funny you should say that. 100% <laughs> I do. Um, well, be careful. This is not a Patreon episode. I know. Um, but I only really have one. Which is? Um, that I was in a, an establishment, a store. Uh, and the front of the store had a, you know, a transparent. Careful. It was made of glass. Okay, there it is. And uh, I, it was a Dunkin' Donuts, and I was eating a donut, and then I remember looking to my left, and Frankie had these balls pressed up against the glass. <clears throat> these are all alleged. This Just want to make in sure. Public. All alleged. Underage. Stop. Pocket full of drugs. <laughs> Come on, Joey. Pocket full of drugs. Uh, but yeah, I've seen your balls multiple times, including that time just now. Yeah, that was well, my first time in a while. And you asked. I did ask. I, I walked in and he goes, I was like, you know I what go, I'm going to say. Yes. And I said, okay, I'll show them to you. Yeah. yeah and he's yeah. like, way to go. Show them, show everyone. No, Joey. Okay. Oh, well, I will well. not. All right. I will not show them new vasectomized testicles. Yeah. Um, but it's just a little grape jelly on You're your in for a treat. What? You're in for a treat. Oh, no. Is this? Oh my God! There's more. <laughs> there's not another song, is there? No more songs. But okay, this is a huge occasion for the show. Who? A huge occasion. Okay. And I had to contact someone to properly help me give a good send off to the boys, aka my sperm count. And uh, what? I, I don't know if you know this, but there's someone that comes out once a year. Santa Claus. No, Joey. Okay. Comes out once a year, and uh, it's, he's very reluctant to come out. Uh, but every time he comes out, he proves his worth. He is, as of right now, the reigning three-time Slam Poetry Poem Award winner. <laughs> My guess was Santa Claus. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's Francisco. Wow. Francisco came out, and he— And wrote a poem? <gasps> he wrote a poem for my for the boys. Okay. For my sperm count. People are going to go crazy for this. And uh, it's a short poem that Francisco wrote. Mm. You know, that of similar to that of uh, Haiku. But he wanted to really... It's not that short. Right. Um, <laughs> what is Haiku? 575. 575. Okay. I thought you were going to say 911 because that's your favorite number. I want to put out there that this is... Uh, Francisco gave this to me. He was crying when he gave it to me. Wow. He was really emotional. And he said to read it as it is. Okay. This is a poem that he is called Grapefruit. His words. I don't know about that, but okay. See if you could find the underlying theme here. I'm going to go ahead and guess it has to do with your balls, but go ahead. <gasps> People would say, none up or shut up. Or it's not about the... <laughs> none up? None up. Oh, nut up. Yeah. At least I had none. I thought no, I was like, no, nuns. Joey, you're, this is art here, bitch. Sorry. You're really interrupting. Now I have to get my head in Francisco's Sorry. head again. I fucked. <clears throat> People would say, nut up or shut up. Or it's not about the destination, it's about the come up. Ooh. I now look in the mirror and say, now what? Okay, come on. I, 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 you're, you're interrupting art here. Hey, bro, let's see your nuts. <laughs> was that Show me what was there, what could be, what was. Mm. Nuts on the brain, nuts now in pain, mm. growing and swollen like Batman's villain Bane. Mm. Swollen. A little, He's a a little swelling. Yeah, you know. yeah. Sterilized, 
victimized. Homicide? No. Testicide. Oh. The fish are gone, swimming less until they're petrified and still, thinking there is no hope like the look from a basilisk. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What did you even say? Like the look from a basilisk? Like, hello, I can't speak. What am I, hammer? Like the look from a basilisk? Kill? Yeah. yeah. Francisco wrote that. Francisco. Basilisk. Oh, that was the end of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Beautiful. But Francisco. Oh, oh, do you sorry, always. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not always. I never. You always. Uh, can you just make sure my audio is not fucked up? I, I This hit the table pretty hard. It's good? No, you're good. All right. Um, look from the basilisk. Because. Harry Potter. And. Snakes. And. Medusa. Penis. Oh. Oh. Penis. Wait, what about the penis? The snake. Uh, who? Yeah. You know? I'm waiting <laughs> for the point. A basilisk is a snake. And a penis isn't a snake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trouser snake, Joe. Oh. That's what they call them. Yeah, in Britain. Okay. Well, we're just not accepting British things now? Not over here. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. And uh, wow, that's all we have for the funeral. That's beautiful, uh, baby. But we will end this with. Tra- have, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Traditionally, there is a, uh, a ten gun salute, and we are going to salute and end off on a ten gun salute. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Joey, you ready? What? Please salute. Should I- Please salute. Please, okay. salute. Please salute. I have no. I have no idea what this is. By the way, I have no clue. I, I don't know what's going on. Please salute. Is that sperm? Is that sperm? child I think that's 10 I think that's way more than 10 Frankie a 10 gun salute it's a different type of shot Joey do you get it oh (laughs) come shot I get it at first I had no idea what that sound was you really thought about this huh (laughs) You should always be on pain medication. <laughs> He's done you well. I see. Farewell, my boys. Peace. Um, <laughs> we have sponsors. <laughs> we have sponsors for today. Um, man, oh, what an episode these people chose to be on. <laughs> the first one. <laughs> there's no easy way to do this fucking segue. There's no easy way. <laughs> To do it, uh, but it's a, <laughs> Give it. Go ahead. a company called Hair Story. There it is. Uh, and Hair Story, uh, their uh, hero product is called New Wash, okay? Uh, New Wash is like shampoo, but it's actually good for your hair, okay? A lot of shampoos, they have a lot of stuff in it that's not good for your scalp. It's actually, it's not good for the natural oils in your hair and your the head on your, I mean, the skin on your head. Um, but with New Wash, it's a cleansing cream that cleans and conditions without the harsh foams and damaging detergents found in traditional shampoos, okay? It's the healthiest and happiest your hair will ever be. Uh, Not only is traditional shampoo bad for your hair, it's also bad for our planet, okay? And Hair Story does things differently, creating more sustainable options that respect the environment and your hair ecosystem. I like that. Um, It's 100% uh, biodegradable, 100% recyclable uh, pouch packaging, uh, but yeah, um, they also have two other, uh, two additional new wash options, uh, new wash deep or new wash rich. Um, you know, they're, they're different. The new wash deep, uh, for those looking for a deeper cleaning, the rich is for those who are looking for even more moisture. It's ideal for thick, coarse, or textured hair. Um, but yeah, so go get some new wash, you know, don't wash your hair with things that are damaging your head. Try new wash by going to hairstory.com. The promo code is BASEMENT. Have the best hair day every day. 
Okay, enjoy 20% off exclusive savings when you use the promo code BASEMENT at hairstory.com at checkout. Again, go to hairstory.com, use the promo code BASEMENT. You will get 20% off. Okay, those are exclusive savings, folks. So save the planet, save your hair. Go to hairstory.com and use the code BASEMENT uh, for 20% off. Um, it is fabulous, folks. All right? I'm, all, I'm going exclusively Hair Story from now on. Uh, next year... We have prize picks. Prize picks uh, is a fun game that you can play with sports, okay? Uh, you, you pick two to six players, and if they score more or less than their prize picks proje projection, you can win up to 25 times your money on any entry. So basically saying, hypothetically, uh, you know, LeBron, is he going to have over 20 points or less than 20 points? If, you, if that's the prize pick projection. If you pick he's going to have more than that, then and he does score more than that, then you win. You have to do that for a couple of things uh but then you can win up to 25 times your money okay so and it's for sports you can do it for uh, pretty much any sport nba nfl uh mlb nhl pga they have esports college basketball wmba women's college basketball disc golf didn't even know you i didn't even, i don't know i've never seen it but they've got it all there baby uh safe and fast withdrawals as well currently operational in 30 states in canada you can download the price picks apps or go to pricepicks.com uh to sign up and uh, first-time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with the promo code BASEMENT, meaning if you put $100 in, they will match it. So you'll then have $200 to play with, and that's up to $100. So if you put $20, they'll also put $20. Now you have $40 to play with. You get me? Uh, so don't forget to enter the promo code BASEMENT at sign up, and you will get that instant deposit match up to $100. But have some fun. Go play some prize <laughs> picks and have a good time. All right. Well, and I also need to make sure I tell you guys about uh, Patreon.com. Now, listen, this is a really serious and somber episode, so I have no Easter egg for you guys this week. But I want to let you know that if you want to learn more about Frankie Skins and you want to know how you can continue to support excuse me, support Joe and I, you go to Patreon.com slash The Yard, where you get these weekly episodes one week in advance if you sign up for that first year. And then that second year, in addition to getting those episodes a week in advance, you get exclusive episodes every single Friday morning. So guess what? You start... You end your week with the boys, baby. You know you want it. You know it's, it's going to be fun. It's, it, it's always a good time. So make sure you go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. We hit 22,000, which means we're recording our brunch episode soon, which is going to be out there, and it's going to be a disaster. And uh, also, we know what we're doing for 23. We know what we're doing for 24 and possibly 25. So once we have that all hammered, locked, and loaded, as uh, you know, alpha men would say, we'll let you know. So pa patreon.com slash basement yard. Thank you all so much, and we're going to keep on keeping on, baby. Yes, and we also have actually another announcement in this, uh, in this episode. Um, the 4th of July. As, is, of, is, yeah. as of right now. I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, and you're, I mean, if Honestly, you're, if you're a patron, you're seeing if it. If you're before. a patron, it doesn't even matter. Anyway, when you're seeing this, the Fourth of July is happening, okay? And that is the peak of dog sucking season. And how could we even go on in the world without celebrating such an event? Dog sucking season, the peak. I mean, it's the birthplace of the hot dog, technically, right? I don't know. So. We got new merch. Damn right, and baby. And it's out of this world. Damn right it is. You Look see at that? that. Oh. Joe and Frank's dog sucking season. It's out, out of this world. Out of this world. Hot, hot and tasty glizzies. Listen, dog That's me and Frank with hot dogs in our hands flying up to a spaceship. No one ever says that you don't need all the trimmings for a dog sucking season. You absolutely do. And what is going to be a new part of the trimmings? Some hot dog sucking season hot merch. Hot dogs, baby. Dog sucking season merch. You want it, you need it. Who doesn't, right? July 10th, go get your dog sucking seasons. Uh, Shop.sanagostudios.com or sanagostudios.com. I don't fucking know. If, also, speaking of fucking dog sucking, and do someone's got to make the dogs. You know what I mean? And who's going to be the bell of the ball except the person that has the exclusive dog sucking season aprons? Aprons, baby. Now get listen. The apron on you. Joey's never cooked anything in his life. But, Untrue. But you know he's going to start now. And if we get pictures of people in the apron cooking oh, yeah. dogs during dog sucking season, we might just lose our mind. Look at that. Look how good we look. Hot dog sucking season. Relish in New York's favorite fresh hot weenus. 
God, I love a fresh hot wing. Relish in it. It's a play on it's words. It's a play. Right? It's a play. You it's didn't a need, bit. You didn't need to get me there. I don't need to catch up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Whoa! Catch up! I got it still. <laughs> I got it still. Oh, yeah. He's got it. He must or... Oh. Didn't work. No, oh, absolutely oh. not. Sauerkraut. I don't know. You just, Jesus Christ, Joey. Just take the win while you got it. I've never had sauerkraut in my life. So what? Yeah, I've never had a sauerkraut. Oh, it's so good. What's regular kraut? No, so it's not sauerkraut. It's sour. S-A-U-E-R. Oh, I thought it was sauerkraut. No, Joey. <laughs> I thought there was a kraut, and then we've soured it. No, it's just like fermented oh. uh, uh, cabbage. It's not sauerkraut? What's a kraut? That's my question. Besides a derogatory term used to call German people. Is it? Yeah. Oh. You didn't? Where, where have you been? You're always up to date with all the derogatory terminology. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You love that stuff. I thought it was a sauerkraut. Like sour candy or like no, sour. No, I need it. I need it. It's, it's a little. Sour Skittles. I'm sweating my ass off in here. Toasty. The funeral's over. Everyone go to the party afterward at the pizza place. I don't that's not how funerals go at all. Absolutely. Everyone always has a party afterward where they have food and they're like, ah, they're dead. But like, we're here drinking and, and fucking boozing. Yeah. That's what they do. Okay. That's my favorite part of funerals. Oh, it's not the <laughs> dead person right there? <laughs> Believe it or not. Believe it or not. <laughs> Believe it or not, no. <clears throat> you should have seen my grandmother's funeral. I was. I did. Not that one. Oh, the, the one, other one. The other one? My, it was my, on my dad's side. These, these people, they can't. It's insane. Was your dad big emotion? No, oh, well, yeah, but then at a certain point, was he like, "Mommy"? They're like, le- like lowering this body into the ground, Ugh. and people are just all joking around. Everyone's hilarious, and it's like, yeah. If you, if I saw your dad cry, I'd probably like him less. Okay, that's toxic masculinity. You damn right it is. Bitch. Damn right it is. I lost. I lost the boys now. Yeah, I, I got. You should be more in touch with your feminine side. I guess I should. Ow, this is. Do not... you have less testosterone now? Like I don't think so. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think it's just the only thing is it's just like my sperm count is it's gonna know, be depleted. Low like your SAT scores. I actually just talked about that the other day. My SAT score was not good. Yeah. What did you get? Uh, yeah. Talk about it. I, I I they only counted the two parts for colleges. They remember it was math, uh, English, and reading or writing. Isn't that the whole test? Yeah, and they only counted the two parts, the math and English. I got, I think it was like a 1,500 or something like that. You idiot. No, it's it's out of 1,600, Joey. They were 800 points per thing. Oh, no. What's the other score? It was out of like 2,100 when we took it. No, I think it was 2,400. 24? Yeah. I hope not. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What was yours? 1,480. Uh, I mean, but I don't know if that was out of 1,600. That's, prob- that's probably out of the two. Yeah, you're probably all right. I mean, you're all right. We're 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 long. What long. a fucking scam! I I also standardized cheated. testing is in New York City. It was like, if you put the wrong answer, you're fucking you're fucked. If you don't put an answer at all, you're okay. But if you put the right answer, you get a quarter point. It was like, what the fuck, dude? You know, I was. Do you so remember that shit? You got you put the you put the wrong answer, you lose a point. You put the right answer, you got like a quarter point. And if you didn't put anything at all, nothing happens. Is that what it is? Yeah, and it was like, do you remember the in all of like the SAT prep? It was just like, you get eight hundred points or so many points if you just put your name. And I was like, oh, oh yeah, shut up, you fucking losers! I took it twice. The second time, I did worse than I did the first time. Such a stupid, like one test to rule them all. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit is stupid. <clears throat> hated, hated it. I cheated on it. How? That's like the big don't cheat test. Yeah, no, I did. You okay. Also, like the my proctor, I love that word. Yeah, it makes me feel like a doctor who's gonna poke your butt. Fuck your butt. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, a, yeah, like yeah. a prostate doctor. A I, I, th- I think a John Proctor. Who's John Proctor from the Crucible? You and your fucking well, the Crucible. Who? You clearly you didn't do well in your SATs if you don't know what the Crucible is. Oh, what's the Crucible? It's a play, Joey. English literature. Fucking look it up. Gives a fuck about that. It's about the burning of witches at the stake. I thought you would have memorized it. Salem, Massachusetts? I think so. Yeah, they were like, oh, bitches can read? Burn them. Yeah. <laughs> Must be a witch. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you just read? Did, did you say? <laughs> you just fucking read? <laughs> Kill that bitch. Tell me one plus one one more time. Holy shit. Are you looking at me? And then reading? The best, no, the best is that what they would do is they would, like, tie rocks to them and, like, throw them in a river, and they're like... 
if they can get out of it, they're a witch. If they die, they weren't a witch. And it's like, didn't, didn't really give up much of a choice there, Billy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one, cuz. Oh, man. Also, what? witches can't fly without their broomstick. Yeah, what? Like, uh, you read a book, you old idiot. They didn't have much, like, fucking, Stupid. like, study material back then, you know? That's kind of crazy, though. They were like, oh, my God, you can read? Literally, I saw set you on fire. I saw her singing. Big witch. Big time witch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of nuts. Tragic. I think there was only like seven women that actually died in, in reality. I think. Oh, that's fine. And well, <laughs> I don't. I don't know about that, there, Bab. Yeah. Speaking of, actually, thank God it wasn't men. Remember you said that? Well, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You said thank God. You know what I didn't realize? You said thank God it wasn't men, and then I said whoa, and you said gay men, and I was like whoa, oh, Joey, don't you dare! That's what you said during Pride Month of all months. <laughs> yeah, we are still in Pride Month. Um. I didn't realize that, like, witches were just wizards, but girls. No, but then what are warlocks? Which is a sweet name. What is that? A warlock. I think it's like a boy witch. I thought that was like a... I think wizards are like pointy hat, long beard, giant staff, and they do, like, cool magic. Like, they just make, like, ants march in a line or something. Yeah. Wizard... uh, Witches... Are like oh fucking Evil. grumbling, bumbling. I'm gonna turn your dick into bumbling, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then warlocks are like the guy version of that, but they're always in suits. I and thought they have... warlocks were like animals, like pigs. No, Joey, those are warthogs. <laughs> That's so bad. Are you kidding me? Warlocks, well, war, warlocks, and warthogs. That's very close, Frank. It has to be. A, I thought it was like a magical pig. Warlocks are a man who practices witchcraft. A wizard or sorcerer? Wait, so that's like a trans wizard. I guess you can go from being because a if witch. witchcraft is women witches, and a man is doing witch stuff, it's like oh yeah. I guess back then they could be on. their pronouns were like witch slash slash you know Wiz, hag or whatever they they would or call war, witches warlock. And then yeah, for men it would be like yeah, you know like a war warlock. slash lock. I would definitely want to do more witch stuff. I you think know how cooler. sick it would be. To be called would, a warlock? Yeah, like, bro, I would sign me up to be a fucking warlock. Out of I all don't things. know. I knew some people in college that were Wiccans. Yeah, but that's just, like, bored I, white people. I, it is bored white people. No, but they, you know, they believe in, like, I burnt the tree. I burnt the leaves of my favorite tree, and now I will fucking see the dead. Actually, you know what? I retract that statement. I don't want to fuck with anyone who thinks they're a witch or yeah, they are Yeah, I don't either. I don't want to be cursed. I don't want to. I support you. Joey was the one that was making fun don't of Don't even them. start. Because Joey was the now, one. Once... White people start, you know, lighting candles in in the shape of a star. I start getting scared. I do too. And if I see a white, never, uh, never trust a white person. Full stop. Also, never trust. (laughs) (laughs) Also, never trust a white person with dreads. Oh, I don't. I haven't really seen that. That's a real outside of California. You don't really see those. Oh, you shouldn't see them anywhere. I would say. Well, I don't know. I I no. Yeah. Once they get into like you know like we're we're friends of everybody. We're we're allies across the board. You want to, you know, put like liquids and smoking cauldrons with dried ice. I'm all about it. I'd like to be there. If we have any witches who are watching this right now, me and Frankie would like to come to your lair dungeon. I don't think that's appropriate, Joey. I think they just call them homes. Wherever you cook up potions. And I, we'd oh like to, to throw some frog legs in there or something. I would throw a couple or frog legs. Or the eye of a newt. Yeah. You know? Like, you need, you need the eye of a newt and the blood of a gang. But the thing that's hard is that when you're cursing someone, and I know this, you have to, it's like you have to, like, go get, like, a piece of their underwear or, like, a lock of their hair Oh, or something. that's no problem. I mean, it's it's more difficult than getting an eye of a newt. Actually, that would be pretty difficult too. I don't even, I don't even know what a newt is. It's like a uh, salamander. It's like a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a little. I guy. haven't seen a sa- bro. Legitimately, haven't seen a salamander since 1999. Yeah, didn't you guys have one? We did. Yeah, it was orange. It was, and and it, you, and it, it died. And it well, things died, frankly. Well, but no, we're, like we're born died, and like we die. That's died, like do. unnaturally, like didn't die because of like old age or something. It died because it got, like got out and got into your garage and like just like got crushed by a weight or something. Oh, I, I mean, you're. I don't. I know. could be completely wrong, I, but I think that you are. I, I tend to not think I am. Right, I know that. Uh, but yeah, you ever have a salamander touch your hand? With the little pads, those like stupid ass fucking like pads. You know what it's like? You ever like uh, put twenty five cents in that thing and like the hand where you can throw it against the wall? It's Dude, got a, like a thing on it. I got kicked out of a college class for one of those. 
You got kicked out of a college class? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You're in college with a sticky hand? Yeah. We those, had, are, those are for literally one-year-olds. I, Joey, I know who they're for, but... Why did you have a sticky The hand? restriction limit of ages doesn't confine me. With toys. With toys. With toys. <laughs> <laughs> with toys. <laughs> with toys. With toys. <laughs> oh, So, you bastard! We had gotten, like, we had gotten, uh, there's this, all right, I'm going to say it. There's a website where you can get, like, like little, like, trinkets and gizmos and stuff like that called Oriental Trading. And mm. yeah, I don't know <laughs> if you can say that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Not on it's, this show. It's the name of the company, Joey. I'm not doing anything wrong. No, I'm just saying. I'm not doing anything wrong. You were just naming some companies earlier and songs. What was that one Jay-Z and uh, uh, Kanye song you, you were just singing? <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? People but, in Paris. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, but we had gotten it. And I was, dude, those things are great with like grabbing paper. No, hold on. And I was in it. <laughs> Back up. You went on a website and then. No, I didn't get it. It was get, given to me by the website by someone that ordered them from the website. Ordered multiple sticky hands. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. It was like we had so we had uh, mailboxes in like the office where like all the RAs would you know stop in and out and stuff like that, and uh, someone had like for like it was like you know May month it was like give me a hand you know or you deserve a hand because you did great during this project or something like that oh my god school sucks so, <laughs> so he gave it and i would sit there and i took like three of them because and <laughs> i would you'd have a paper in front of you and i'd fucking whack it over there and i'd pull the paper toward me like an iguana's tongue dude yes no like a like an iguana's tongue or is was it a chameleon i think it's a chameleon's yeah, tongue. Is. they it have is. that fat tongue at the end that you want to suck on you know what i'm talking about no i don't it right? looks like jelly and juicy and i uh, you want to suck on a... I'm not going to suck on a chameleon's tongue, but it looks appealing. You literally just said you were going to no, suck on a chameleon's tongue. No, I didn't. Tongue. I said it looks like you want to suck on it. That would... No, it doesn't. I, you, Joey. No, you. No, it looks you, like you, you don't want to Don't put your it. fucking fingers at me, bitch. I uh, mean... All my fingers. Oh. How about that, bitch? You, You're the one who said you, you want to suck on a dare. chameleon's tongue. Don't you dare. I didn't say that. Don't you point all your fucking fingers at me. When you point fingers, you have three more pointing back at you. So point those all back at you, bitch. Where are you going to get 13 fingers? No, when you point fingers, you have three more pointing back at you. So don't you? Not if I do this. When you point fingers like that, like you're a fucking like 1970s wizard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had the sticky hands. They were fun to play with, and I got in trouble in a class because I did it too many times, and they asked me to leave. So what? Dude, we went all that way for that. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. Get, get your sticky hand and get the fuck out. It wasn't even the fuck. It was just, just get out. Yeah. The fu- the funniest time I got reprimanded in college, since you're asking, is... Um, Dude, you do me a favor. Use the word reprimanded again. Jesus. There was a, uh, a professor, and he was a professor of history. I hate history. The class itself, I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I literally, it's like... You wish that history would just... Repeat itself. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but he was our, and he told us, he was like, listen, I'm a cool guy. Like you, all I care about is come to the class. You can sleep in here. You could be on your phone. All I care about is that you come to the class. <laughs> <laughs> Just come. So I said, I was like, okay, all right. And one day I went to the class and he had like made a joke and I was laughing and he, and he goes like, like in a joking way, he goes, do you think that's funny? And I was oh, like, shit. I was like, yeah, it's funny. You're you're a clown. <gasps> he did not like that. He goes, don't you ever call me a clown. And I was like, fucking, like I didn't say fucking to him. I was like, yeah. what? He's like, I'm not a clown. I'm not your boy. I was like, fire. God damn, this guy was serious about. I think we were talking about like the apartheid or something, which is serious, but like, yeah, why is he a cl- what apartheid? I don't know. Is he making? I don't know. It was something that we were talking about in current events at the time, but. Mm. Might have been Joseph Coney. Do you remember him? I do. Share my namesake. <laughs> yeah. Guys fucked up. We do have sp- <laughs> God almighty. God almighty. How haven't we just been like, you know, better help. That's it. BetterHelp sponsors this podcast. BetterHelp, you know, you know BetterHelp. BetterHelp is almost on every episode. BetterHelp is the best. Uh, and actually, I got a message, ver- like a very nice message from someone uh, on Instagram uh, talking about how, uh, you know, they're glad that we talked about BetterHelp on our show because it has helped them 
um, you know, with their experience. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, it's online therapy. Uh, it is more affordable than in-person therapy, which can cost an arm and a leg if you don't have the proper insurance. Even if you do have the proper insurance, sometimes there's co-pays and those are crazy. Um, so but, uh, BetterHelp is much more affordable than that. Um, and it's easy to kind of like get onboarded. Uh, you can start talking to a therapist in just under 48 hours and you can uh, you know, switch from therapist to therapist to find the right fit for you. Um, so it's great. And if you feel like you, know, you wanna start therapy or dip your toe in or whatever, you kind of just have to take a leap and do it. Uh, so if you're thinking of starting therapy, give, give BetterHelp a try. Um, <clears throat> you can do it completely online, by the way. You can you know, talk on the phone, do video chat or whatever. Uh, and also at whatever frequency you want. Um, so yeah, pretty customizable in that way. And on top of it being already affordable, uh, you can save an extra 10% off of your first month at betterhelp.com slash basement yard. That is betterhelp.com slash basement yard spelled B E T T E R H E L P.com slash basement yard. Get 10% off of your first month. Okay. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know, a uh, Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gifts, I gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Uh, and lastly here, we have Babbel. Okay, Babbel is great. This is going to teach you how to speak a language. You understand? You can pick whatever language you want. Le, le esta gustando mi podcast? What does that mean? Do you like my podcast? Are you liking my podcast? Wrong. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> with Babbel, uh, Babbel is great. Uh, it, you know, you can learn a new language if you wanted to do that. I mean, I, the one thing that I, when I went to Europe for the first time, <laughs> When I went to Europe, I was so jealous that everyone was bilingual. And some of my friends are bilingual, and I'm like, oh, my God. I or, like, trilingual. And it just, like, drives me insane that I can only speak English because I feel like, you know, come on. Uh, and also, it's, you know, I think that it's probably the most useful thing in the world to be able to communicate. Um, so when you can do that with multiple people and not just, you know, one language, it's amazing. And you can do it with, uh, with Babbel. Uh, they make it very easy. They have these, like, you know, uh, essentially these like games. It's an app where you can, uh, you know, there's like 10 minute sessions. Uh, they're designed by over 150 language experts to help you start speaking a new language in, in as little as three weeks. Um, and I, I've used Babbel before. It's a lot of fun, especially during like the pandemic. I was like on it, learning Spanish like <laughs> like every day. Um, but I was on it for like hours. Like I was getting after it. Like Babbel's great. Um, but studies from Yale, Michigan State University, and others continue to prove Babbel is better. Uh, for instance, one study found that using Babbel for 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester uh, at college. Um, so it works. And uh, here's a special limited time deal for our listeners. Uh, you can get started right now and get 55% off your Babbel subscription, uh, but only for our listeners at babbel.com slash basement. You can get 55% off uh, at babbel.com slash basement, spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash basement. Rules and restrictions may apply. But go out there and learn a new language, okay? Something nice. Maybe pick something, you know, you never thought I would be able to speak this ever in my life. Uh, just pick, you know, Swedish, Danish, Turkish, Norwegian, doesn't matter. Pick something. Uh, and you can start learning it. And like I said, uh, they said uh, 15 hours is equivalent to a full semester at college. So it all depends how much you put in. All right. So go, go out there and learn a new language. It could be nice. Um, but yeah, all right, what are we talking about? It's ironic that. Ah, uh, Coney. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's ironic that we had a, a funeral because the actual real-world tragedy of the submarine destroying, you know, 
getting destroyed. Jesus, yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will say that it's pretty fascinating how those people died, and I'm sorry I worded it that way. It's pretty cool how they died is what you meant to say. Um, I felt like I... That's what you said. I feel like you said it worse no, than No, that's what you said, Joey. And no. I apologize. It's obviously a tragedy, but like... The good news, if there is any that came out of this, is like... Yeah. They died instantaneously. I would say even quicker than that. And even like before... Uh, like everyone else had previously thought. Like it, they apparently died like minutes after they lost power and like fell... And it was on, like, Sunday. We were talking about it on, like, Thursday and, like, yeah. wondering what was going on. So, uh. Yeah, apparently I, I saw a video, and, I mean, I didn't do any research because <laughs> – look at me. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. I saw a video of this guy who looked like a scientist. I'm just going to believe that he is. Uh, and he said that – What does look like a scientist look like? He had you... glasses. That's it? Yeah. Just, like just... – And he was old. That's it? Yeah. Any, so anyone could look literally if anyone who's old and has glasses is telling me something scientific I am you assuming aimlessly believe it yes kind of I kind of respect that okay and but the guy said that like something about the amount of time it takes for us to feel pain and then like it gets your brain to like oh I'm in pain that's a certain amount of like milliseconds or something and the same thing with your sight so when you see something your brain like for you to be able to see it, your brain has to like, whatever. The amount of time that takes is a certain amount of milliseconds as well. The speed in which they died was quicker than both of those things. So literally they're existing and then they're not. And they have no idea. And it's not even in, a, in like a blink of an eye or a snap of a finger. It's, it's way quicker than that. Way quicker than that. That's which, wild. That's kind of crazy. And also, that's how I, like that's, if in that situation, because we said like the worst part of that whole thing was the idea of them waiting. Yeah. And like the idea of them in this thing, in this vessel, they're shitting and pissing and throwing up and like they're cold and all that. Nope. It Suffering. was power goes, they fall, they're fucking gone. And that's it. And that's kind of a bit of a blessing in this situation, no? Yeah. I saw someone had posted, and it might be fake, someone had posted an email exchange between the CEO uh -huh. of the company and uh, like a safety tech Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, are we boring you? No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> and a safety tech. And it was something along the lines of like the most like hyper, you know, like fucking CEO bro thing I'd ever read. And it's like, listen, this thing is not safe. In so many words, I'm paraphrasing here. It was like, this thing is not safe. And if you run these tests, like something catastrophic could happen. And he had responded with something along the lines of like, people love to use safety as an excuse to to hinder innovation and like we are going to move forward with this because that's what innovators do and i was just like you fucking little skunk like you fucking <laughs> little bitch you know what i mean yeah i mean yeah not cool that you got a bunch of people killed with you yeah it was i heard that it got as hot as the surface of the sun in there that'd be crazy and it's like that it you turn into like a gel do you think like there are any like Sharks down there, like slurp, slurping up that gel, like nom, nom, nom. I don't think that sharks can get that low, baby. There are sharks that can get that low. Nope. What get what can get that low? There's six thousand uh, pounds of pressure per square inch. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah, you step outside the fucking thing, you just crush. You become fucking full dust. Yeah, that's so, all right. A, a fucking. Are you going? Are you going to the see the Titanic anytime soon? I would never get in a submarine. Yeah, in my no, life. no, no. There's no shot. I would never. There's and no I shot. would never get on a boat that I can't see the shore. Like, I'm not going on a boat and then it's like we're just surrounded by. Bro. Get the fuck out of here. People, did you see? Uh, I saw it all over Twitter. There was uh, a cruise line that got hit by like a bad storm. Dude, I saw that. Fucking no. Can we make cruises illegal? Why do we need to fuck with the ocean? Like, what? Can't we just not fuck with one thing? The ocean and bears. Those two things, let's just admit that we aren't going to fuck with them because we will lose all the time. Period. There's no way to not lose nah, them. No, we could take out the bears. Yeah, but not. I would never shoot a bear. I think they're so cute. Oh my God. The other day, I was watching... There's a new uh, Our Planet on Netflix. Okay. 
And uh, I love those shows, but I fucking hate those shows. Because they're just like, oh, like, look at how beautiful this little panda is. And then it's dead. Yeah. And then it's so, like just getting fucking mauled by like a velociraptor. So I'm watching Our Planet the other night, and it's about polar bears. And there's a mother polar bear. Dude, polar who's bears. kind of a big selfish bitch to me. Whoa, Joey. Yeah, dude, nah. Jesus. She was like climbing the rocks of this thing. It's fucking rocky. And you got two little kids and it's tough for them. And she's the not behind them? She's, no, in, front she's of them? in front of them. Damn. And the waves are crashing. It's like, bitch, this is fucking crazy to climb on. They're little kids. But she's and then she like eats a bird and it's and, and What David, does she leave for the kids? This is what I'm saying. She David, didn't leave nothing for the kids. David, I'm getting to that. David Adenborough is over there, like he, he, she's gonna eat and like I'm mean, you know what? You, I'm you, just you, not gonna Honestly, do the you, you shouldn't have started. But basically, he was saying, like, she's not going to wait. She's going to eat it. And if they get there in time, then they can eat. One of them ate. The other one got there. He's exhausted. And it he's like, a while. yo. And then, and then she's like, we got to keep looking for more food. So she goes to climb back up the rock, slippery slip. And like, but she's good. She's a fucking full grown uh, polar she's bear. She's a mama bear. And her fucking, do- uh, fucking kid bear cub thing. False. No, he's just having a tough time and starts like wailing false and crying and false. shit. And I'm laying in bed like, yo, fuck this bitch, bro. False to its death. No. False all Shut the- up. She gets all the way up. The other one gets up. He's by himself. And then David Attenborough's going, yeah, she might just fucking bounce on him and fucking leave him. I'm like, what the fuck? You got what kids, a, bitch. A... You got a responsibility. She shouldn't have had the sex. Jesus Christ. And let me guess. It was all the male... It was all the man bear's fault. There was not a man bear to be seen. Damn. Those man bears just fucking hit it, quit it, and just left the mom with two cubs. I was like, I can't watch this. And I go to turn it off, but then I see the bear starting to get up. And then he <gasps> gets up. and then, But then the bitch is like... Oh, there's no food here, so we gotta bounce. Now we gotta swim. So the bear, the little bear, who so hasn't eaten, he's climbs. already super tired. Now you're gonna make him swim. He's gonna die. I turned it off. Did it get eaten by a seal? I didn't watch. Did it get pulled under by a seal? I pulled over. Pulled under. Oh no, I didn't watch. Did the did, did the bear? I don't have any more information. He jumped into the water, and I went done. Not watching this. I don't like when I see things get in water. I get agitated. Like I get like you know like I can't watch it. Because you think something's gonna. So wait, so that bear got in the water. What happened to it next? Like, was it? Are you fucking with me? Because I'm gonna fucking come over there. I stopped watching as soon as the three bears jumped into the water. I don't know what happened. So you watched the fucking the climb, but you didn't watch the you know the the swim. I couldn't watch this thing either drown or not make it, Frank. That's kind of fucked up of you, Joey. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, like, why wouldn't you watch that bear? Why wouldn't you? You should. You you know what you should do? You should get a bear. Have, let it have cubs and then teach it the right way to parent because you're such a good dog dad I don't think you appreciate the gravity of the situation here there's a fucking- all right it's a bear it's fine a polar bear dies a polar bear dies they're dying anyways what did you just say earlier I asked about that fucking stupid ass lizard that you guys had in kids that you probably ate or something weird and you said oh, all things die all right this fucking bear maybe it's time came a little sooner it's, it's a, a bear, Joey. I think the mom's just being a selfish bitch. The animal kingdom is all about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And the number one is, you know, yourself. You don't even have balls. What do you know about I the have, animal kingdom? Joey, 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 I have balls. <laughs> They're still there. You saw them, bitch. <laughs> I did see you them. You did see them. And they got grape jelly on them. Pretty, stop with this grape jelly. It I don't like, like jelly. The, pretty sweet looking balls, right? I wouldn't say that. Why not? Sweet. Yeah, would you think my balls are sweet? They look sour. Yeah, real sour, not like sauerkraut. That's not sour. It's <laughs> sour. It's sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Yeah, I can't oh, believe okay. you've never had sauerkraut, dude. I don't think I have. It's the perfect like saltiness for your dog. Is it? Oh, my you know what's good? Pickled, either pickled cabbage or pickled onions or something. Bro, pickled cabbage is basically sauerkraut. Wait, what's the what's the pink one? Oh, right, the red one. It's yeah. pickled onions. Other than that. What's wrong with you? I don't... I How do eat. you... Oh, well, finally, you eat something other than fucking chicken nuggets, and now you don't remember the name of it? This is this is a myth that you've created. And chicken you... nuggets, wiping ketchup and duck sauce off your fucking plate. <laughs> You're just like a child. You have the, you have the <laughs> diet of a fucking angry eight-year-old. You go to a First diner all, and you ask for the kids... That's not true You go all. to a diner and you ask for the kids' menu. Or you go to a Spanish fucking restaurant and they're like, what do you have? And they're like, oh, what do you want? And you're like, give me the kids' menu. And they're like, oh, we have a spaghetti. That's not true. That's exactly what you fucking do. I would never eat spaghetti. Why? Too ethnic for you? you spaghetti? Fucking prick. 
I'd be willing to bet I've eaten more foods than you have. I can guarantee you probably haven't. <laughs> You're gonna say I have. No, I have. Have you eaten Indian? Yes. Have you eaten Korean? Yes. Have you eaten Thai? You're. I'm talking about foods, like no. things to eat, bro. Like a list of. I've definitely eaten more than you, baby. But, uh, <laughs> I'm saying like actual. You look like a limo driver right now. I feel of. like a limo. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get Uber to the airport. It's like, like I just need like a fucking like baseball cap on forward. Just be like, where are you going? Yeah, yo, would you get a driver? No, like I like never. driving. I like driving. I like being in control in my vehicle. What's weird about that, Joey? I don't know. You're, ask, you're gonna get a driver now. Ask a therapist. Fucking bitch. I'm not getting a driver. What are you? Uh, ask nuts? a therapist. Why is that weird, bitch? So Sorry, I like, I like being in control. In my car, I said. Oh. Maybe, maybe listen to me for once. Instead of sitting there you. on your fucking, your high, your high pearly tower of just fucking like, I'm the best. I'm going to get a driver. You're going to get a driver to drive you in what? In fucking hours <coughs> worth of traffic? Joey lives, <coughs> two's enough. Two is more than fucking enough. I'm done. I'm not saying I'm You moved driver. like two miles from here and it takes you longer to get here than it previously did. You fucking... <laughs> That's not true. Bitch. That's not true. Listen, you stupid fuck. I asked you if you would ever get a driver. I didn't no, say I was the answer is no. What kind of money do you think I'm making, Joey? I'm not fucking big Warbucks, Daddy Warbuck, Warlock Bucks like you. <laughs> I'm, li- I'm saying in a hypothetical world, can you not imagine? Can you not have fun for a second? I, I have a fun time all the time. I'm Mr. Fun. I'm King Fun, bitch. Yeah, I bet Who you are, are you? Who are you? You're not fun at all. I'm fun. What did you do yesterday? Look at me. Uh, I have a t-shirt and a blazer. I'm fun as hell. Are you or are you just a fucking raging douchebag? No, I look like, you know, like I... What do you have know. on your feet? Show me your feet right now. Socks. Exactly. And shorts. And sliding shorts? Sliding shorts? Are you fucking playing baseball? These are not sliding shorts, Frank. These are fucking briefs. What brand? I'm going to destroy you right now. Calvin Klein. Champion. Calvin Klein. Champion. Oh my God, he has Gucci boxer briefs. How much those run you? Four hundred bucks. Champion. I bought these on Amazon. I'm sure, Joey. Show it. Get up and show us your bare ass right now. <laughs> show us your fucking hole. I want to show see, us the rim. I want to show us every. Show me everything right now. No, no, no. Your bare butt. Can I ask you a question? No. Do you? He this, didn't listen to me, huh? No, I'm not gonna listen. Yeah, no. Assholes. Yeah. Are are they a com- like a hot commodity? Like, do people have, look at assholes and go, "Whoa!" Assholes have had a comeback the, the last. Gays, I assume. No, straight buttholes have met, had like a big comeback the last like ten years. I remember when I was leaving college, all it was all about licking butts. Well, I'm not saying I'm not saying that. I'm I'm saying like you're looking at butts. You're looking at a butthole, and you're going, "I like that." I think you you accept a butthole as a butthole. You know what I mean? Like. You're not gonna. You're not looking for a bleached one, or you know, like you know, a butthole's a butthole. It is what it is. Would you know a bleached one if you met it? I don't. I don't. I don't. I know. don't think so. I don't think so either. I would have to see the original color first. Yeah, if I saw it before and after. I would have photo. to see it before and after. Yeah. Before I can confirm, say, that's a bleached. I just feel like that's not necessary to bleach your bum. Why don't you get one? Me bleach? Yeah. What does that require? They gotta like bleach. Paint? They gotta paint. Me? I think it's like that, like the bleach that people use in like their hair and stuff like that. Oh, so they're gonna like paint it's like the jelly. Bleach it's on like my yeah, ass? yeah. They'll just paint your asshole with bleach. Oh, I don't want to do that. Why not? It's weird. I've never opened my hole to a painter before. You, you, you rich people are just into weird shit. You might as well. Who? Who? What? You guys love that stuff. You guys. Yes. <laughs> I'm not bleaching my asshole. I'm you sorry. should, honestly, you should. No, but maybe if we hit twenty six thousand, I'll bleach my asshole. But we wouldn't be able to tell. We'd have to see pictures. You'd have to. Post. You would confirm. You'd have to post. No, no, I would confirm by taking a picture. No, we can't show people my asshole. And then I would take a picture of your lips and say, "Once is asshole, once is lips." But in, real- <laughs> in reality, they'll both be your asshole. Right, you know, it'll be one of those tricks. Yes, yeah. Spot the difference. There is no difference. No difference. Both assholes. That's how you keep your tension high. Little fucking marketing uh, <laughs> little thing for you to tidbit. There you go. Thank if you. You ever want to market your asshole? There you go. CEO Joe, always working, baby. Anyway, I think we can end there. <laughs>
yeah. Frank, where can they find you? And you're not balls. I have balls. Uh, sorry. <laughs> F. Alvarez. I have balls. <laughs> F. Alvarez885 on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on all other forms of social media. And then make sure you go check out the Patreon. Patreon.com. Thank you for getting that. It's all worth 23 dollars We're going to keep going and keep going and keep going. You, Jesus, you guys can follow me at Joe Santa. I'll go follow the show at the base me on TikTok and Instagram. And don't forget July 10th, go get the motherfucking, uh, you know, dog sucking season. The new merch is dropping baby, uh, shop.santagallastudios.com. I believe that's the website. We're not going to check. Do it. It's in the description. Just go there. It's been a long day without, without you, my jizz. My jizz. That's what it was. Yeah. And I'll tell you all about it. We ended the episode. Oh, it's done.